Emily, good afternoon. We're honored to be joined by Roy Turner, who's the executive director of the Elvis Presley Birthplace. Roy, first off, when are you going to see the new movie? This Friday with everybody else, and we are so excited. What have you heard? I don't know if you've had any insight as far as the movie or if you've paid any attention to any of the reviews about it. I've read all of the reviews. Uh, the minute I saw the trailer, I became ecstatic because uh, the childhood part, especially that happens in Tupelo, is historically accurate. And that gave me great hope that this guy was going to get it. And I think he's got it. What do you think the movie could do for the birthplace as far as generating more interest. Not that it doesn't have interest now, as, as, as Wayne Herford and I and Alvin Ivey and I have been out here this afternoon, and you, you're probably used to seeing all these folks who come here from around the world, but they're obviously, even this far along, still a lot of folks who come here. Do you expect an uptick in visitors? Do you expect things to remain steady? Well, we expect an uptick. Uh, Baz Luhrmann really summed it up well in an interview I listened to him where he said that Elvis is an icon. Uh, the 70s Elvis in the jumpsuit is viewed as a joke by a lot of younger people. And this film is going to make Elvis real. They're going to see what a catalyst of change he was, both in music and uh, helping with racial relations. And I think we're going to see people that have never given Elvis a second thought want to know more about him now. What is it about him? Why, why has he remained a presence to today? I think it's because he stayed true to himself and true to his roots. You know, Elvis was never ashamed that he was a poor kid from Tupelo. And it always amazed me when I was researching, I would read articles. You know, you'd read about Frank Sinatra or you'd read about Gene Kelly. But when you'd read about Elvis, they would always say, Elvis Presley, who was born in Tupelo, Mississippi. Why did they always point that out? It must have been such an oddity. Uh, and he has always been associated with Tupelo. I know of no other entertainer that is so associated with their birthplace. By the way, before we wrap up, you took over the birthplace from Dick Guyton last year. How's the job been? I'm in heaven. Uh, it's my dream job. I retired after 48 and a half years with the same company just to take this job because I wanted it. I enjoy coming to work every day. We have a great staff that loves their job, loves interacting with our visitors. Our visitors are happy to be here. It's a happy place. I mean, what more could you want in your so-called retirement job? Not, not a bad way to be in retirement. Roy, thank you so much for joining us live on WTVA 9 News at 5. By the way, you will hear more from Roy coming up in our live report on WTVA 9 News at 6. This has not always been the Elvis Presley birthplace that we see today. There's an interesting story behind that. We'll be more than happy to share that with you for now. We are live in Tupelo. I'm Craig Ford, WTVA 9 News.